Pi. I think the biggest bottleneck of Raspberry Pi is the reading and writing speed of the SD card. This is why many application is slow. But there is a solution with Raspberry Pi 4 and this is there is a new USB 3 ports and you can attach an SD uh, card which is much faster with a reader or an SSD drive or whatever you want. But I just overheard that you've been crying for days because you have your new Raspberry Pi 4 and it just doesn't boot. Well, actually this is because the new Raspberry Pi 4 does not support booting yet. They've been promised that it's going to be there, but we don't know how long does it take for them to implement. So you might continue crying or I might be able to show you a solution uh, and uh, just take a look what I'm doing. You go to the raspberrypi.org, you go to downloads, click on Raspberryan, and choose whatever flavor you want and download it. Now start your application, Etcher. Select the image you've downloaded, which is in my case in the downloads Raspberry Pi folder. I'm going to do it with the full image. Let's open. Select your target drive, which is that one, and press flash. You probably have to type your password. And now it's going to take time. Okay, now that you are done, you can close the application and you can remove your SD card reader from your computer. Now we can insert the SIM card into our Raspberry Pi. First is going to resize the file system. All right, now the system is restarted. So we can start the setup process. First, we have to plug in our new drive. If you take a look at the plug, the color is blue. Also, if you look at your Raspberry Pi, you have to make sure that you're going to plug into a USB socket where the color is blue. That means this is the USB 3. If you're going to plug into USB 2, it's not going to be much faster. So that's important that you plug into here. All right, now we can start the process of setting up your new system. Okay, now you just have to open a console and when you plug in all your devices, first thing you take, you have to check if your system can see in your device. So let's say sudo fdisk minus L. And you can see what we have now. This is what you can see here is the current SD card and the SDE is our new plugged in device. In my case uh, this device is empty and brand new so there is no partition so you might have to delete your partition or you might just have to create a new one like I have to do but for each cases you just have to go and type sudo no, sudo fdisk and this is your device slash dev dev slash sde okay if you want to have some help what commands you can use you can type m but first we got what we, we're going to see what partitions we have so you just press p and press enter okay what you can see that technically there is no partition at the moment so we have to create a new one press n if you have partitions you can type d and then you can select the partition and delete that <clears throat> but be careful because you're going to lose your data because i don't have i just have to create a new one so i'm, I'm going to press n and 
it has to be a primary partition you just have to type p and partition number by default is one so you just have to press enter first sector you can leave as it is and the last one you can leave as it is your newly newly created partition is done what you have to do now is you have to write the partition into your hard drive or ssd drive or whatever you have you press w okay you have a newly created partition now you have to format this partition for this type sudo it means that it's going to be an x4 type of partition and you have to type what you have already searched for that was dev slash what was that sda press enter and press yes okay now your part is here is created and it's formatted now we have to mount this partition somewhere so let's create a directory for that type sudo m key dear slash media slash let's call it external and you mount it to media that external okay you have a mounted drive so if you go to media external it should be empty we can check just double check for make sure all right we have an empty drive perfect what we're going to do next we're going to synchronize a current operating system into this new drive sudo space rsync minus a vx then there's a slash which means that we're going to copy the entire disk root partition then what you've created slash media slash external press enter all right copy is done actually it took much faster it was much faster than i was expecting uh, because this ssd drive is much faster previously i've tried the same thing with an external usb drive but that was fantastic that was about i don't know 10 minutes or so so let's try to finish this up we only have one thing left we have to modify the booting okay we are done so just modify the file sudo nano which is our text editor slash boot slash cmd line txt enter so search for this part root equals whatever and modify and change it to your new hard drive ctrl x save yes press enter then reboot okay now take a look at the speed benchmarking you can see that the new SSD drive is about 10 times faster than the previous SD card was. Okay, let's see how a video is played. With the original SD card, the video was played, but it was kind of breaking up. This is the first load of the browser, that's why you have these images or tabs try YouTube search for a crazy video there's a video when a crazy guy tried to destroy his records with wood glue Nice.
should search for that in YouTube, not here. Yeah, that's it. And go to full screen. And I think that's all right. It's not breaking up. That works perfectly fine. Okay, so for those who are not following, I'm including the steps in the description below and if you did like the video don't forget to subscribe see you next time with a comparison of raspberry pi 3 and 4 next to each other screen to screen about the speed differences bye